Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave today and we're getting a step closer every day to getting out in the Commonwealth cabin, but it's still gonna be a little while. So just wanna say happy new year to you again. And I want to talk about a couple things today, but really quick before I forget, don't forget to go out and get, if you have an eBay store, if you have an eBay store, the new coupon should be out. You should be able to go ahead and get what you need. I don't know what you guys get. Let me know in the comments what you get on the eBay store um, with the coupon, the free uh, eBay brand and packaging material. I get the same thing every time. And I hear other people and I watch other people and they never get what I get. Well, not not never, but... They rarely get what I get. I see a lot of people getting tape and thank you cards and different boxes and those kind of things. I get the same thing every time and I max out all my money on that one thing. So let me show you what it is. I buy this thing over and over and over again in this bubble jacket and I love it and it works out perfectly. I sell so much stuff that I can put in this. It turns out that I use almost the exact amount that I can get every quarter. I have a few extra. I have about 30 or so left, and then I'll buy it again. And then by next time, I'll have 30 or so left. And it just works out perfect, and I love that thing. I find that, that those things cost too much money for me, where I use so much tape and I sell so many things that I would rather just buy my tape in bulk I think I get a, I come out a little bit ahead when I do it this way. But anyway, let me know what you guys do out there. Let me know what you like. I personally don't like that tape. I don't even like the way it makes the box look. But, you know, I'm a little OCD. So that's what I do. You let me know what you do out there. Maybe I need to try something different this time. Second thing I want to talk about is what I just saw come across my phone. And that's something on Facebook Messenger. And I don't typically sell on Facebook Marketplace. And it's an untapped market, uh, no pun intended, for me. And the reason I don't is because the population around where I live is not great. So the population centers are a half an hour that way and 40 minutes that way. And there really isn't much around here. So people would have to travel quite a ways. I sold a washer and dryer not too long ago and people came an hour and a half away to come pick it up. But, you know, you can sell some things around here on Facebook Marketplace. If I lived in a bigger city, I think I would do a massive volume on Facebook Marketplace. And I see some other resellers picking up items that I wouldn't pick up just because they know they can sell it on Facebook Marketplace. So what I've started to do, and I'm, I'm really liking it, although I've only put a few items out there like this. Um, I sold the first one like this today. I take a picture of it before I take it to the antique booths or I'll just put it in the antique booths and take a picture of it while it's in there and I'll list it on Facebook Marketplace and they'll say, hey, you know, where can we meet? I'm like, listen, um, and, I'll, and I'll tell people, I'm not going to meet you. You need to come pick the item up. I, I usually won't unless it's a big item and they're far away and we make some kind of arrangement. I usually don't like to meet. Um, people don't show up. So... What I did this time is I took a picture of it, I put a price on it, and somebody said, hey, is this still available? And I said, yes. If you want it, I'll give you a $5 discount if you pick it up from, in this case, it was at Bell Treasures. And I do have to pay a 10% fee um, down there, but you know what? That's, that's nothing to me. I don't have to meet anybody. I don't have to ruin my day trying to figure it out to make 15, 20 bucks. I just tell them where it is and then go down there and pick it up. And that's what happened. It was a big giant um, iron uh, horseshoe like coat rack. It was a huge one. And I picked it up at Goodwill in the summertime. And I thought, you know, I can sell this on eBay. It's going to be an arm and a leg to ship it. I could probably sell it for around 40, 50 bucks on eBay and then ship it. And I was like, no, I'm just going to put it in the antique booth for 40 bucks. And I gave this person a little discount to go down there and pick it up. And that's what they did. And it's gone. And they messaged me back and said it's picked up. So I took it off Facebook Marketplace. So I know a lot of people with brick and mortar out there, antique type stuff, they'll put on Facebook Marketplace and it'll draw people into their store. Some people don't like that. But you know what? To me, you got to go pick that thing up. And it doesn't really matter where they're going to pick it up. And this lady was happy as could be that she could go and pick it up on her time when she wanted to. And I just made sure last time I was in there that it was still there. That's the only problem. You don't want somebody to buy it and then somebody to show up. So I called down there and made sure it was there. And they went down there and picked it up. So it's an awesome little sale. We'll make about $28 on that. It's not a huge sale, but hey, I didn't do much. I took it from Goodwill, put a tag on it and put it over there in that antique booth. So it was a nice little flip. 
All right, enough about all that. Let's take a look at what's sold. And I love some of the things that sold today. Kind of an eclectic mix. This is a perfect Commonwealth picker flipping day, in my opinion, where it's not one thing. It's a bunch of different things and some things you've seen me pick up on some videos. So let's take a look. All right, this is the first one, and it is Peaches Music and Video, and this is coming off a little bit. It shows a little bit of wear. They're not perfect, but they're okay, and it's a little cassette holder. And I picked these up down at Richard's Place in Appomattox. Matter of fact, I have a little private pick video that is on, here's the other side, is on Commonwealth Flipper, and it was one of the first videos we posted over there. So, Richard, I appreciate it. I can't remember if you gave these to me or if I paid a couple bucks. Maybe I paid uh, three bucks for the both of them. I can't even remember. But it was $20 plus shipping for these. $20 plus shipping. So don't overlook something as simple as this. I almost overlooked it. I'm like, hey, that's kind of cool. And then I realized, hey, it's music and video. This is what they're designed for. I was going to put my own cassettes in them. And then I'm like, you know what? These are going to sell. All right, speaking of being OCD, sometimes when I'm out and about and I went down to Dirt Road Treasures in order to pay them the money for the Fontanini sale, the Fontanini consignment, and I'm like, hey, while I'm there, I'm going to look through stuff, and this is something I found for a buck. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to pay for my gas down and back and put a couple dollars in my pocket. And I picked this up and I listed it for 10 bucks. It didn't sell before Christmas, but it sold after Christmas. Sold for $10. So just to do the math on it, I paid a buck, sold for 10. So let's figure a buck 50 in fees, a dollar in cost, or at $2 into it already, 267 to ship this thing. So we're looking at about five, let's say five and a quarter when it when you put the packaging material in there. So I made $4.75 on this little sheet, which is not a lot of money. But it's the kind of thing I do all the time. I'm like, huh, how can I pay for my gas today? And you know what? This kind of stuff adds up. I'm going to be down here anyways. I've got to do shipping. I'm glad it's sold. And we can add $4.75 to my total. All right, we got a PS3. And my boy did the work on this one. It's backwards compatible. So I probably listed it a little bit too cheap. I could get a little bit more money in it. But I wasn't comfortable because there are so many scratches on it and different places that aren't perfect. I wasn't comfortable asking for top dollar for this particular machine. And it, uh, I can't remember what came with it and what doesn't. My boy took the pictures, so I'm not quite sure. But it sold for $120 plus shipping. It's a really nice profit. I think I picked it up at a yard sale that's on a video, probably late summer. And I think I paid $10 for it. All right, I don't always pick up the old polo shirts like I used to. This is a custom fit. Those tend to go a little bit better. Has a tiny bit of fading, a little bit of wear. The reason I picked this one up was because it had the yellow pony and the cool color. So it's a size medium, so it's not even an amazing size. But it sold for $14.81 plus shipping, and it was a Goodwill buy. So if I can make like $7 profit on a shirt like this, I'll probably pick it up at the Goodwill because it's so easy to take pictures of, list, and ship. And I made closer to $9 on this one. All right, this one was a $1 buy, and it is a medium Under Armour, woman's Under Armour t-shirt. And since it was a $1 buy, I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. It only sold for $9.41. Not an amazing buy, not an amazing sale, but it's about $4.50 in our pocket. All right, a lot of you see the cornflower teapots, and I think the number on it, let's see what I can just make sure I get it right here, P104 teapot. And this is the one that's got the cornflower, and it's just a little teapot, it's nothing special. And I'll pick them up if I can get them for a buck or so. And they sell pretty good. Matter of fact, they're selling better now than they have in the past, so I'm not quite sure why, but they are doing pretty good right now. But this one in particular has been doing pretty well lately. And I decided because there was a few too many scratches on the teapot itself. And you can just about make as much money, sometimes more money, selling the top to it as you can selling the whole thing. And so I decided I was just going to sell the top. And I bought it for a buck. It sold for $10.95 plus shipping. So it's like a $9 profit on that little guy right there. All right, so here is a Wii. And this is just a run-of-the-mill typical white we this is one of the uh, what are they rvl uh 201 i think is what it is 001 and i typically park these things out but i gave bubba i gave him just boxes and boxes of nintendos and well <laughs> this is only nintendo of video game systems and i told him to clean them sort them out test them 
and I forgot to tell him to part this one out because it had everything. It had the nunchucks in it and the controllers. And so he had already taken pictures. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to list this thing uh, all together as one system. And it sold really quick for 40 bucks plus shipping. It's a pretty good price. Probably could have got 45 um, on it. But uh, eh, happy with that sale. All right, I am no record expert, but this one sells pretty good. It's a double, and it's in pretty good shape. I don't really know how to grade things correctly, so I just describe it, and I give it a best guess, and I say, hey, I'm no expert at this, and I'm, I need to be. I need to get better at it. And I show them the corners, and the record itself is in really, really good condition. And this one seems to be fairly popular. It sold for $19 plus shipping, and it sold really, really quickly, so happy with that sale i paid i don't know no more than a dollar for this one i bought it and matter of fact there's no way i even paid a dollar i think i probably paid a quarter for it i remember the lot of records and i sell most of my records in the antique booths and they sell pretty darn good down there so this one's a nice little sale so it's probably around a 16 to 1750 in profit for this one all right i sat down the other day and i finally got to this i bought this in the summertime uh, there's like 60 of these things, and this one's really, really small. It's got like six pages in it, and it's the uh, SR-71 Aerofax Mini Graph, and it's from 1983, and I listed a ton of these, and it took me a couple hours to list them, and this is the very first one that sold. Actually, it's the second one that sold. I sold a lot of magazines. I got rid of all the magazines first, and now these little uh, guidebooks, I don't know what you want to call them. They have all the pictures and all the details for uh, whatever particular one is in there so anyway it's pretty cool and it didn't sell for much but it sold for six dollars and 41 cents plus shipping so if i only make three or four dollars a piece on these things it's all pure profit at this point i made my profit back selling the first lot and i made a hundred bucks uh, right off the bat when I bought this lot and then I made 80 bucks like really quick after that So this is gonna be pure profit. It's gonna be two three four five dollars at a time 60 times over so we'll make like two two fifty on them. All right I've had a few more things sell in the last 20 or 30 minutes and I don't think I'm gonna ship them out tonight I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. I'm still running on two days shipping and handling even though typically I'm still shipping out the next day but i like to enjoy a little bit of time here over the holidays with my family and doing two day shipping and handling might slow down the sales just a hair maybe um, but it gives me a little bit of a luxury to decide when i want to do my shipping so maybe we can go out and do a few more things while i'm on break so anyway thank you so much for joining us we appreciate you always coming back and if you don't mind leave a comment down below about what things you use your coupon for if you have an ebay store and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Y'all appreciate it. And we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, and a happy, happy new year in 2020. See you tomorrow.